Diablo more though has a worse class, especially right now it's got the worst class. You see, the game has been out for 323 days. During that time, there has been a significant amount of redevelopment of class balance. There's also been reshaping uh, optimizations and battleground matchmaking, et cetera, in PVP. And in PVE, there even has been some combat rating changes and some damage number type of changes. But at no point, in any of that was the worst class that is currently the worst class the best class in the game in fact it's arguable that it has been the worst class since the launch of the game and it just took a long time for everybody really to figure it out however the balance changes aren't doing it any favors what class am i talking about well of course ladies and gentlemen i am talking about the demon hunter you see with the six classes in the game and seventh when the blood knight comes there is a reason to pick each and every one of these classes if i decide to pick the barbarian it's because i want the undying rage i want the fastest pve farming in the game with the firestorm build if i decide to pick the wizard I want long range. I want continual freezes. I want heavy CC from a range. If I'm going to play Monk, I want immunity frames. I want the highest damage burst in the game. I want to be in your face on PvP. If I play the Crusader, I want PvE synergy. I am looking to use the Holy Banner. I am also looking to use Conjuration of Light in PvP. Maybe do some smaller map type of PvP. The Crusader can be quite good in the other PvP modes as well. And of course, Necromancer short, sort of has shined at everything even from the beginning and still does. Counters Barbarian quite well. Has really good knockup and CC continually uh, within PvP. In PvE, farms really well. May arguably the best single target damage in the game, which is where the Demon Hunter really feels bad. You see, the Demon Hunter's original position in the game was supposed to be insane single target damaging. In fact, if you go back and watch our videos pre-launch when we were talking about the game, videos like with Echo Hack where we were describing Demon Hunter, those videos are all describing Demon Hunter as the damage god that you want on your team in order to optimize DPS, but that's not really the way the game turned out. Very rarely do you think on your team, oh wow, that Demon Hunter just carried this dungeon. That's just not really a reality that we live in, and not even because the Demon hunters don't do insane damage i'm sure there are demons uh, hunters out there that do insane damage but because in pve basically everybody does insane damage you're always nuking down everything as long as you have the combat rating and in things like dungeon things like the overworld farming it's all about speed and how fast you can do it well the demon hunter while it might have damage isn't necessarily the fastest farm is farmer either. It's not going to keep up with Monk's continual teleport. It's not going to keep up with the Barbarian's Firestorm uh, sprint, or it's not going to keep up with the Wizard's teleport. So it doesn't really even have the best PvE speed related to it in terms of output. So that might ask you, okay, well, where is it in terms of PvP? Well, maybe Demon Hunter is quite good in PvP then. It is I don't think it's debatable. Some people might debate it. I think the Demon Hunter is hands down the single-handed worst class in all of Diablo Mordo, not just for PvE, but for PvP as well. I think it's actually the worst in both regards, but specifically the PvP is going to be where you feel so vulnerable. And plus the Demon Hunter gets niched into feeling like what they have to do is in order to be effective is continually build around the basic attack. So we're gonna have lots of basic attack builds like the Shao Bass, you know, Vithu's types of combo, okay? You're gonna have the Vengeance types of build with attack speed, and it can feel like you get pigeonholed in to the one and only real build with Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter not only on top of feeling like they aren't very effective, they also feel to me like they have some of the least variety in terms of build and gameplay. So I'm not seeing near as many Demon Hunters walking around as I used to. In fact, I barely see Demon Hunters. I see an absolute ton of Barbarians because they farm the fastest. I see a ton of Monk because they get the most kills in PvP. But why would you play a Strength class that's the Demon Hunter when you have both the Barbarian and the Monk staring you in the face right there? Or if you even want to do fast dungeons, you can just do PvE and have a Holy Banner of yourself for bosses that you can use. So there's not really an argument to be made for Demon Hunter in terms of class identity. So changing the Demon Hunter 
has to have a few things happen to it. First and foremost, we need to get some CC love for the Demon Hunter. You see, the ranged classes need some sort of CC, or they need some sort of ability to be able to keep people off of them. A monk can jump on the Demon Hunter and he's dead. A monk can jump on a wizard, but if a wizard has the teleport with removing harmful effect, you can remove the seeping bow. You can go invisible and create a clone of yourself. You can even have ice armor, or you can try to freeze the person if they don't have a shield. The Demon Hunter really just has running away, which means in order to play the Demon Hunter significantly well, you have to always have good positioning all of the time, which might be wonderful for the people that can do it, but for the average user who's picking up the game and just casually trying out PvP or PvE for the first time, they're getting what is arguably the worst experience in the game from a class perspective in terms of performance. And for that reason, I think the Demon Hunter can be very discouraging for people when they are actually playing it. There's other reasons you could be discouraged in things like PvP, for example, obviously, um, that we've talked about a billion times on this channel, but I think in Demon Hunter, uh, for class balance conversational points specifically the demon hunter does feel a little bit underpowered right now and could probably use some tuning while we take down the power of some of these other classes now i myself am a wizard and i've been enjoying being a wizard and i can only swap between this and another intelligence class if i want to keep all my pieces so the next class i'll probably end up playing is actually the necromancer and if i ever thought Oh, I would like to play the Demon Hunter for maybe content. And I sat here and I thought to myself, why would I actually play the Demon Hunter? I can think of zero sales pitches other than creating YouTube content as to why I would actually play the Demon Hunter. And for me today in a game based upon classes, that's a problem.